Do not undertake a scientific career in quest of money or fame. There are easier and better ways to reach them. Undertake it only if nothing else will satisfy you, for nothing else is probably what you will receive. I wonder who wrote that? Oh wait, that was me. Hi, I'm Cecilia Payne and I was a leading astronomer in the mid-1900s. Let me tell you a bit about myself. I was born in 1900 and I studied at Cambridge in the 1920s, but I was not allowed to get my degree because I was a woman. So a man named Shapley, who was director of the Harvard Astronomy Department, helped me enroll in Radcliffe College in the U.S. I had to go to this college because it was all female and I wasn't allowed in Harvard, which was all male. Anyway, I did my PhD thesis on what the sun was made of. I had evidence to suggest that it was made of hydrogen and helium, not heavy elements like they are on Earth. And I was correct, by the way. However, my advisor, Henry Norris Russell, told me to downplay my findings because he told me I was wrong. So, I had to make some changes to my thesis so he would approve it. I completed my thesis in 1925 and became one of the first women to finish a PhD. My thesis was well liked by a lot of scientists. The director of the York Observatory, Otto Struve, said it was the most brilliant PhD thesis ever written in astronomy. A few years later, my advisor Russell proved my ideas about the composition of the sun with some other experiments. He published his work and was nominated for a Nobel Prize. He never even gave me any credit. Next, I started working at Harvard. I was doing the work of a professor, but I wasn't taken very seriously because I wasn't a man. The courses I taught weren't even in the Harvard catalog until 1945. I didn't get the title of professor until I was 56 years old. So I had been working for around 30 years until I got it. A fellow astronomer, Menzel, helped me gain my title and therefore helped me get paid adequately for my work. Despite all the challenges I've faced throughout my life, I have thoroughly enjoyed my long career as an astronomer. I became the first female chair of the astronomy department at Harvard, and I am so grateful that I have been able to pave the way for future female astronomers.